Hello? Am I audible now? Hello? Can you hear me? Anybody? No data warning. TV is not receiving the data. You believe it is important. Just check. Am I audible now? Oh, thank you. Mm. Uh, who are all that? Mushar of Desai, Abhishek Salunke Are, Abhishek, you are back. Good to see you. Uh, yesterday, I think you were not present. Uh, I don't know if you are present. Good. Ruthik Mindse, good morning. Anant Nadgoda, good morning. Okay, everything going smooth now. Good, good. Huh. Suddenly, Chetan Kumari Habali. Yeah. Okay. Next. Uh, Levan are online now. Let me fix some, uh, then uh, Gurling KST. Yes, good morning Gurling. Who all are present now? 10. So let uh, give me two minutes time. I think everything is going smooth. Let me upload the question papers. Okay. Uh, <coughs> You can see the um, what you are seeing here is this is the um, uh, secondary camera that I have fixed for showcasing whatever I write. Um, I would like to showcase that. Meanwhile, just give me time minute, uh, two minutes time. I will add a question paper. trying to add the previous question paper just hold on yeah it gets projected just a minute can you see the question paper now I will increase the size don't worry can you see the question paper or not I will increase the font size this should be visible now okay now uh, this is a third semester b degree uh, examination question paper 2014-15 mechanical measurements and metrology uh, don't worry about uh, the codes that you see here let us only uh, think about the question papers can you see this your feedback is important can you see the question paper good link can you see the question paper? Okay, good. Uh, thanks, Anant. So, uh, I have loaded about uh, six or eight question papers now. Let us start one by one. Let me start the first one. Let me go to the uh, first question paper. Okay. Mm. Let me go to this first question paper. Okay, we'll start from first and uh, Just a minute. Let me add the first question paper. think it is giving some trouble today just uh, wait for two minutes
Sure. Uh, Abhishek, Chetan, mm. uh, I'm trying to load a question paper. I think it is giving me some trouble. Uh, wait for a second. I'll just upload this. Uh, window capture. Okay. Photos, live stream, QQ, Windows. I'm not able to get that. Sorry for the delay. Wait a minute. I think, uh, <coughs> never mind. Friends, uh, there are 10 students now. That's good. Uh, okay, uh, I'm unable to upload the question paper, but I can read it out for you. Don't worry. Uh, let me uh, go one by one question paper there uh, I had uploaded it right now but uh, uh, something mm, some mismatch is happening never mind I will show you the <coughs> give me time I will read out the question paper for you uh, this is a question paper from uh, yeah uh, this is from January uh, December 2014 to January 2015 this is a December January 2015 question paper okay in this First question, uh, define metrology, state and explain objectives of metrology. I think uh, uh, we have already defined what metrology is, what are the importance, what are the objectives of metrology is. Uh, if you wish, I can just uh, mm, <coughs> go through this PDF file, have a look, what is metrology, what are the objectives and uh, look, just a minute. Yes, what is metrology? Metro means, yes, here is the definition. Can you see this? This is the first question. What is metrology? Metrology word is derived from two Greek words such as metro, measurement, and logi, science, science of measurement, which includes all aspects, both theoretical and practical with reference to measurement is called as metrology. Measurement, it is the process of comparing two comparatively unknown magnitude with a predetermined standard. What are the objectives of metrology? This question carries how much? Uh, wait, this question carries six marks. Okay, uh, objectives of metrology. Basic objective of metrology is to determine whether a component has been manufactured to the required specifications. The basic objective, objective of metrology are as follows. One, to provide required accuracy at minimum cost. Next, uh, through evaluation of newly developed, uh, thorough evaluation of newly developed products to ensure that the components are within the specified dimension to determine the process capabilities 
to assess measuring instruments capabilities and to ensure that they are adequate for their specification uh, for their specific measurements to reduce the cost of inspection by effective and ut uh, efficient utilization of the available facilities to reduce the cost of rejection metrology today's times the co components are very expensive so the, the more the, uh, more is a, and the uh, margin of uh, uh, profit is very limited so the more number of rejections more is the losses companies cannot afford to do that a any amount of effort is less to see that uh, is uh, worthwhile if you are able to reduce the uh, rejections to assess the manufacturing instruments capabilities and to ensure that they are adequate for their specific measurement to reduce the cost of inspection to reduce the cost of one is rejection another is rework you have supplied an oversized component again it will be sent back to you you will have to rework that again it involves the machine the main machine and the material material is anyway going to be wasted so instead you try to manufacture a component which is within the limits of acceptance or the tolerance to reduce the rejection to standardize measuring methods by proper inspection methods and developments uh, at the development stage itself to maintain the accuracies of measurement through period, uh, periodical calibration of the measuring instruments calibration is an equally important part so we are discussing about calibration in the other side of our uh, mechanical measurements and metrology in metrology part much of our uh, discussion is on uh, calibration of the instruments to prepare the designs for gauges yes i have discussed this and special instrumentation uh, i have mentioned uh, uh, some few more objectives but more or less they are the same compare and eva compare complete evaluation of newly developed products determination of process capabilities so on and so forth okay let me go to the second question what it says sketch and explain international prototype meter imperial standard yard this was asked for 10 marks during um, when was this uh, 2015 yeah uh, sketch and explain international prototype meter and imperial standard yard uh, this has been explained right uh, nevertheless i can show you uh, the international prototype meter and standard yard have a look this is international uh, uh, prototype meter okay wherein you need to mention about the 16 mm width 16 mm height and then you need to define what international prototype meter is whether it is a line stand international prototype meter is defined as the straight line distance at 0 degree centigrade between the engraved lines of the pure platinum iridium alloy that is 10 percent iridium of 1020 mm total length having a trusca cross section you can see this is called as trusca cross section can you see this yes this is Tresca cross section uh, as shown in the figure. The graduations are on the upper surface of the web which coincides with the neutral axis. I will show you the photograph. The sectional shape gives the greatest rigidity for the amount of metal involved and therefore is economic in the use of expensive metal. Okay. Imperial standard air. Can you see this? Imperial standard air. An imperial standard air is defined as is, is uh, made of uh, bronze, 82% copper, 13% tin, 5% zinc bar. Uh, of one inch uh, one inch one square inch cross section and 38 inches long uh, at a round recess can you see this round recess there are two recesses here a round recess one inch away from the end side two sides is cut at both the ends up to the center there are two holes recess made at the uh, from the ends uh, central neutral plane of the bar further a small recess again one tenth inch in diameter is made below the center Two gold plugs, one tenth inch diameter, having engravings are inserted into these holes so that the lines of engravings are in the neutral plane. I will show you the sketch. Can you see this? This is 38 inch and uh, these are the two engravings, 36 inch at 62 degree Fahrenheit and this is the neutral axis of the bar and this is the small recess that is again made wherein the gold plug has been placed. Two gold plugs. Okay, bronze bar, it's a bronze bar, 82% copper, 13% tin and 5% zinc. And there are what is called as airy points. There are, these are airy points. Can, uh, there is a question somewhere I remember, what are airy points? This is also is in your Viva questions or somewhere in the practical examination. What are uh, airy points are used for the precision measurement metrology to support a standard length in such a way that the minimum bending or drop of a uh, droop of a horizontally supported beam occurs and that is equivalent to airy point is found out by root of l by root 3 that is 0.57735 inch of the length of rod or you can say 1 by root 3 into l if you have got a 1 meter length if you have got you can find out where to place the 
area points it is 1 upon root 3 into l whatever is l so 0.577 l is the distance at which the two area points are to be from the center are to be plugged okay let me go back to youtube see how many students have joined us okay uh, 10 16 am there are five students now uh, six students uh, are you able to see me properly is this okay just give me the feedback or you want the question paper to be uploaded i am trying to i am trying to do that it is giving some trouble do you want my question paper to be uploaded i don't know what's happening with that question paper i have tried uploading that Just a minute, I'll try to add. That looks better. Yeah. Finally, I got it. Yes, uh, so this was some problem. Now I think this looks better now. Can you see the question paper? Okay, let us continue. Continue the question paper. Uh, what is the next question? Next question is, as I said, uh, uh, international prototype meter, imperial standard. Write the slip gauge the combination to build the following dimensions using M87 slip gauge. Standard set is 49.3825 mm. Another is 87.321. So I have told you how to solve these problems associated. I have solved in my notes 49.3825. Let me just check, go back to the notes. I will show you how this problem could be solved. Let me show. Wait. Let me see if I have the solution here. Ah, can you see this? Uh, these are end bar problems. Okay. Mm. Let us solve. Huh. Let us take this example. Let us solve one problem here. Huh. Problem. See, this is a M112 example. Build a 58.975 using M112 set. Okay. Let me just tell you. Always start from the last decimal place. Then take subsequent decimal places. Use the largest possible block in each step. So example, we will see what is M85. Before that, we need to understand what are the various uh, slipcage boxes available. Let's have a look. Okay. Now, uh, the set given here is M87, right? Okay. M87 slipcage. One second. Give me some time. Okay, can you see this? Okay, good. So now let me just check M87. The question paper says build a slip gauge using M87. Okay. Am I visible now? Is it visible? Okay, M87 step. M87 consists of these uh, parameters. That is, uh, range, there are 87 slip gauges. 87 gauges. Starting from one, last one is 1 0.00, 0005 is one. One number. Next, we have one point double zero one to one point double zero nine. 
how many these are 9 in number next 1.01 to 1.49 how many are here uh, in this this is in the range of 0.001 mm this is anyway one piece next these are nine pieces these are 49 pieces in the range of 0.01 mm okay next 0.5 to 9.5 these are uh, totally 19 pieces in the range of 0.5 mm okay next 10 to 90 mm these are 10 10 in number totally uh, in the steps of 10 mm each these are uh, sorry 9 pieces uh, 10 mm each then totally you have 49 pieces 87 pieces 49 plus 150 59 uh, 69 79 uh, that is uh, 8 uh, and then another 9 here 89 87 pieces 1 and 1 minus so here 49 plus 9 plus 1 plus 19 plus this is 9 so what you get finally here is 87 uh, slip gauges so using m87 you need to build the slip gauge combination let us see i think i have solved one problem 92.357 given question says 92.357 using two slip gauge production slip gauges using 2.5 mm each what are end but these are production slip gauges are end gauges supposing you build a these are your various combinations you add a 2.5 mm end gauges this is given as 2.5 mm and another is 2.5 mm so you initially reduce the value by 2, 5 mm and then build the slip gauges. Have a look 92.357 star first you rem, uh, you delete that 5 mm straight away reduce these are end bars these are sorry uh, sorry these are uh, calibre uh, blocks which are uh, uh, wear blocks which are kept at the which are placed at the end these are uh, even in case of the wear out they can be taken out instead of damaging the slip gauges only the wear blocks are damaged. 92.357 minus 5 next what remains is 87.357 then go to the last decimal always start from the last so the if you can and one more important aspect in uh, building the slip gauges is try to use minimum number of slip gauges okay so this becomes 86.350 i have used 1.007 one uh, one slip gauge what remains is 86.350 can you see this 86.350 because 1.007 is reduced now I can I have 1.350 in uh, M112 I have uh, 1.35 use that what remains is 85 then finally 10 you reduce it by 10 then you have one more 75 mm block therefore the number of blocks that can be used uh, the uh, slip gauges can be constructed is two you know, protector uh, protection slip gauges 2.5 each next 1.007 next 1.35 again all those put together there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2 slip gauges additional. Totally slip, uh, 6 slip gauges including end gauges. Now uh, one more example 35.4875 using M112. I think you can do that. Let us go ahead with uh, next question. Okay. Wait. Let me keep this fellow here. Let me bring it, bring this up. okay uh, now again let us see what are the other questions okay good next question uh, we can build this please uh, do huh my important thing next part determine the dimensions of the shaft and the hole for 30 h8 d10 and sketch the fit given all the values what are, uh, please all of you be careful now i am going to solve this problem uh, right here uh, just let me see who all are uh, online seven students musharraf abhishek chetan anand musharraf i am going to solve i will tell you the way to solve this problem given in the question paper i will show you i will highlight that first and then i will go ahead with solving the problem here using the drawing sheet okay uh, you have to be very attentive uh, during this session 
see that you are going to solve, we will solve this problem and if you find any difficulty you let me know right now, I will uh, uh, discuss it further and it is also for the benefit of those who will uh, view this video later. Let us see the question paper first, what the question says, uh, please read, let me enlarge that first, okay, determine the dimension of shaft and hole for a fit of 30 d h8 d10 right let us solve it here let me write it down for you let me enlarge the window let me enlarge uh, video capture window here Okay, I can enlarge this. I will read the question for you, don't worry. Let us solve the problem. I will read the question paper for you. The question paper says, huh, uh, determine the dimension of a shaft and a hole for a fit of 30 H8 D10. 30 H8 D10. Let me see the alignment, okay, it is visible, right, 30 H8 D10, let me enlarge my view here, I can reduce this, let me solve this, all of you please be attentive, this is very very important, ah, okay. Let me take, uh, let me discuss limits, fits and tolerance for this. Let us analyze the question first. It may take some time, but never mind. Uh, determine the dimension of the shaft and the hole for a fit of 30 H8 D10 and sketch the fit given, what are the given values? Look, these are the things that are given to you. I is given 0.45 cube root of d plus 0 0.001 d this is given next what else is given this is given in the question paper you can see that next upper deviation for d shaft is minus 16 d to the power 0.44 a next b uh, fundamental deviation for d shaft is given as minus 16 d to the power 0.44 D. Okay, and this unit is also given microns. Next, 30 mm. He has also given the diametral step. Diametral step has been given. It may or may not be given, but in this case, it is given as 80 to 30. Okay. Uh, observe one fact here. When the value is 30 mm, you need to consider the previous diametral step. If it is say uh, 30 to 50, you need to consider 30 to 50 as the diametral step. Not uh, next step is 50 to 80, never ever uh, use 50 to 80. Okay, now clearly it is 18 to 30. So, the uh, 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 question examiner himself has given you the diametral step, so no confusion. But even if it is not given, you need to remember this 18 to 30. Next, what is the thing given here is IT8. Oh, let me see the camera position, is it okay? Huh, looks okay. Now, he has also given you IT8 as 25i. Next, IT10, IT10 he has given as 64i, okay, all these things are given to you. Question says, determine the dimension of the shaft and the hole for a fit of 30H8 D10 and sketch the fit, okay, we will solve this. Let us, I will give you the theoretical way how to solve, later on you can solve the problem by yourselves, only thing you have to add the values, okay. Let me see if this is visible to you people and uh, let me see the feedback. Uh, we can't see the problem sir. Uh, I think it is all visible here, 30 H 8 D 10. Musharraf, this is the problem, 30 H 8 D 10. 
I'm not showing you the show. I'm, I'm not showcase the question paper now. I'm I'm showing you the drawing sheet. Can you see it or not? Can you see this? This is very much visible. This is what is given in the question paper because the question paper was small and I need to switch over here. I have come here. If you wish, I can show you the question paper. Wait. I show you the question paper. Wait. One sec, just hold on. Okay. Is it not visible? I'm surprised. 30 H at D10. Is it visible or not? Let me see what you people are saying here. Yes, sir. Okay, it is visible. I was wondering what happened. Okay, uh, so we'll continue. These are the things that are given to you. It's visible. Okay, good. So these are the and be careful. I repeatedly am telling you uh, how to solve this. Okay, now let us get going with the solution. Okay, first let me start with uh, straight away the sketch. Okay, let us draw the sketch. Uh, I will draw first the overall sketch. What is given? What is to be found out? Then you can solve the problem by yourselves. Okay, done. Let me keep it this way. Observe carefully. Let me make it horizontal for you people. Okay. H hole, it says 30 H8. This is H8. He says D shaft. D shaft is below XY line. D okay this is hole this is shaft okay now what are we supposed to find out we are supposed to find out four values two values for the hole two values for the shaft okay. we this is given to you this is 30 mm this is basic size basic size this is 30 mm okay now let us identify what are the things to be found out this is one basic size minimum size of the hole because it is h hole minimum size is always minimum tolerance is fundamental deviation for h hole is a zero so this one number one is equal to same 30 mm next we need to find out number two that is uh, the higher size of the hole or the maximum uh, fun, uh, what is it? tolerance for the hole and then what is the maximum size of the hole. Maximum size of the hole is nothing but this value. Next. We need to find out the maximum size of the shaft number 3. Next we need to find out maximum size of the shaft uh, sorry minimum size of the shaft number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 if you find out these 4 values your problem is over. That's all. And how many marks? Please give me time. It gives you uh, 12 marks. How much? 12 mark. 
straight away pocketed 12 marks okay let me solve okay let me solve the problem so we need to hold dimension that is 30 0 0.000 then we need to find out how much is this we need to write it here next shaft we need to write that is equal to 30 one is this value how much is this another is this plus this how much is this so if you enter these two values you will get some values here these are the things that we need to find out two values for the shaft two values for the hole okay now let us analyze what is given 30 h8 d10 h hole it is on xy line a to h holes uh, they are all having a positive deviation next a to d shafts they are all having negative deviation okay this means that h hole is above xy line and d hole is below xy line or the basic size we call as basic size it is which means that this is a clearance fit even if you write what you will get one mark just by looking into this you will be able to see so this is a clearance fit 30 h 8 d 10 is a clear cut case of clearance fit can you see the clearance here this is the clearance this is minimum clearance this is minimum clearance and this is maximum clearance this is maximum clearance yes or no this is minimum that is minimum size of the shaft hole maximum size of the shaft this gives you minimum clearance and maximum size of the hole then minimum size of the shaft will give you maximum clearance right now we need to find out one two three four let us solve the problem first let me solve hole first hole dimension prior to that we need to solve these two parts very important step one two parts before solving any numerical we have got to follow two steps step one find out d is equal to root of root of root of d1 into d2 that is equal to root of 18 into 30 and you get the value in, in terms of here mm whatever is the value please find out later i don't know how much is this i have not solved this problem but i'll show you the methodology okay next step two step two you need to find out i is equal to already the formula is given you don't have to remember but it is better we keep this in mind if it is not given you should be able to reproduce i is equal to 0.45 cube root of d 0.001 d okay i think it is uh, uh, already what's the time 10 51 we are uh, exceeding the time but never mind are you ready to continue beyond 11 o'clock or you want to stop me you want me to stop here by solving this problem please uh, message me so that i can stop it here uh, once I solve this problem, I can stop the question paper discussion. Just uh, give me the feedback. Meanwhile, I will solve the problem for you people. Okay, I is equal to 0 0.45 cube root of whatever. The, let's, uh, let us say this value as 18 into, I will find out how much is that. 18 into 30 square root. Just give me time. How much is this? Can anybody tell me? Uh, Uh, square root of the cube root of right what is that 18 into 30 one sec Yeah, this is 23.23 mm this is equal to 23.23 
mm. So you should be able to write 23.23 plus plus 0 0.001 into 23.23. And please note the value you get here is in microns. Very very important. Value is 0 0.001 mm. That is one micron is 0 0.001 mm. Did you understand this? Find out this value meanwhile 0.45 cube root of 23.23 plus 0 0.001 uh, into 23.23 whatever is the value you write it. I don't have a time to discuss this now. I, I don't have solution. I will have to do this using a mobile calculator. Nevertheless you can do that. Uh, ping me the message. I'll tell you. Next. Continue the problem. Once you know these two steps straight away two values of whole are found out. Okay. Let me see. This is given. This is given. EH. How much is this given value? Question problem says EH8. Okay. So IT8 is equal to uh, he has given already IT8 as 25 I. Can, uh, do you know? It is already given. 25 IU. That is equal to 25 into I value. Did anybody get how much is this? Let me just check. Mm. How much is this value? 0 0.45, 0 0.45 into bracket. Uh, how much is that? 23.23, 23.23. Brackets complete. Raise to um, cube root of one third, right? Uh, How much is this value? Okay. Plus, it's very difficult to use this. One point two eight three. No, it's very difficult to manage mobile calculator here. Anyway, uh, please find out this. I'm not able to get this value. You enter that value here, 25 i value. Once you get, you should be able to get 25 i. Did anybody get? Let me check how much is the answer. Continue, sir. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kipifik. Can you tell me how much is this answer? Mm. Can anybody tell me how much is this uh, value? I want to know how much is this answer. How much is this value? I don't have calculator here. Mm. This is posing a trouble. One point three zero seven. Just check this answer. Is it correct? One point three zero seven microns. Can anyone confirm me this value? Can anyone confirm me this value, please? Answer you get here is in terms of microns. Okay. Let us assume it is one point three zero seven. Okay. So now. This becomes, we will so continue this part, 1.307 microns, that is equal to 20, then, uh, 25 into 1, one, one micron, this becomes 0 0.001 3 
जीरो सेवन एम एम और पॉइंट डबल जीरो वन एम एम दैट्स ऑल वन पॉइंट थ्री माइक्रॉन वन माइक्रॉन पॉइंट डबल जीरो वन मिलीमीटर्स ओके सो दिस बिकम्स ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू पॉइंट डबल जीरो वन एम एम सो वट यू गेट हियर इज द वैल्यू पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव एम एम दैट्स ऑल ओके नाउ दिस इज वन वैल्यू दैट इज थर्टी एम एम ऑलरेडी गिवन दिस इज पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव एम एम टू फाइव एम एम सो ऑब्वियसली द सेकेंड वैल्यू हियर इज नंबर टू हियर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट सॉरी थर्टी पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव एम एम सो द टू वैल्यू इज ऑफ होल आर थर्टी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव एम एम दैट्स ऑल सिक्स मार्क्स स्ट्रेट अवे ऑल वैल्यूज इन एम एम नो कैलकुलेशन नाउ लेट मी गो टू शाफ्ट वैल्यू ओके शाफ्ट डायमेंशंस ओके लेट मी ड्रॉ द स्केच फॉर द शाफ्ट This is the D shaft. This is D ten shaft. Okay, so we need to find out third value. This is number three, and this is number four. If you find out these two values of shaft third and fourth, the problem gets solved. Okay, now how much is this? This is called as fundamental deviation. for d shaft which is given as minus it is already given in the numerical look look can you see this fundamental deviation minus 16 d to the power 0.44 it is already given in the exam uh, you are not by hearting this not necessary it will be given normally fundamental deviation for d shaft is minus 16 d to the power 0.44 where d you have to substitute in mm okay the answer you get is in microns this is very important you need to substitute the value of d in mm you get the value in microns okay minus 0.44 uh, minus 16 d to the power 0.44 how much is the value you find out uh, at the today's i may not be able to solve had i solved it earlier i could have given you okay now all you need to do is fundamental deviation for d shaft you identify minus 16 d value we have found out as a 23.23 okay 23.23 minus d to the power 0.44 whatever is the value you uh, you in uh, you mention that here how much is that you write it here and next d 10 D10, where IT10 is a tolerance, is given as. Have a look. IT10 is already given as 64i. I'm not remembering. It's already given. IT10 is 64i. Okay. So IT10 is equal to 64 into i. I is nothing but 64 into. Uh, we have found out 0.001301 mm, or I can say 0.001 mm. Or it is also equal to zero point zero six four mm. Got it? That's all. So we know this is point zero six four mm. All we need to find out is number three is equal to that is maximum size of the hole thirty. Number three value thirty minus fundamental deviation this value. And number four is equal to thirty minus fundamental deviation. Minus zero point zero six four. Please find out these values. You should be able to get the answer. All the four values are over. Problem gets solved. You should be able to get say something around twenty nine point two, twenty nine point three. I don't know how much it comes out to be. This is how the problem is solved. A quick recap of uh, what is to be done. First, draw the sketch. H. The given problem is thirty H eight D ten. Draw the sketch H eight. D10, and this is the fundamental deviation for D shaft. This is H for which there is no fundamental deviation. 
okay we need to find out one is minimum size of the hole second maximum size of the hole third minimum size of the shaft fourth uh, sorry this is third is maximum uh, maximum size of the shaft fourth is minimum size of the shaft these are the four values we have to find out before finding out any values we need to find we need to do two computations one is find out how much is d second find out how much is find out these two first find out how much is d d is given as square root of diametral step 18 into 30 and you get the value in terms of mm here in this case it is 18 into 30 comes square root 23.23 mm if I, my calculation is right next step 2 i fundamental uh, the tolerance i is 0.45 cube root of d plus 0.001 d so you find out this value d value we have already found out 23.23 finally what you get is 1.307 microns i think this problem i have solved in my notes have a look into that or maybe other day i solved this problem also i remember having solved this let me just check if i solved this let me just check if this problem was solved uh, no uh, i have solved the other one i think These are all the previous uh, solutions I have done in my earlier classes. Now it is, uh, uh, I have solved 25H8D9. The problem I solved is 25H8. This is the problem I solved. 25H7F8. Uh, this is the problem I have solved. Can you see this? Okay. Now, once you are done with these uh, two important parts, that is, uh, finding out D and then I this will get you four marks or so maybe one mark here another one mark two or three marks definitely you should be able to get next two parts that is you have to find out the whole dimension what are the whole dimensions we let us calculate that okay here whole dimension whole is H8 find out IT8 is 25I that is equal to 25 into whatever the i value you uh, substitute you get a uh, 0.025 mm you uh, write that here 20, this is a tolerance for hole okay now one value of hole is 30 because minimum dimension is uh, the fundamental division is zero so the minimum dimension of the hole size is 30 mm okay h8 it cannot come below 30 next uh, another value uh, this minimum value plus tolerance that is 30 plus 0.025 mm okay so two values of hole are represented as 30.000 30.025 mm okay next that's it go ahead with the shaft shaft part yes have a look shaft part shaft part draw the sketch shaft is below basic line size fd is minus uh, 16 d to the power 0.44 it is already given in the numerical all you need to do is substitute d value you should get this and once you get this you get the fundamental deviation so 30 minus this size or this gets what you get here is in microns please note the answer you get here is in d is in mm d is in mm and answer is in microns this is a mistake we do normally students do this they substitute this in millimeters and find that the answer is in mm no answer is in microns okay fd is d to the power but this is um, in whatever the answer you get next d10 means it10 tolerance it10 is given as 64i it is given in the numerical you don't have to remember it's already given in the problem okay uh, that is find out how much is 64i that is 64 mm write it here 64 now remaining we need to find out the minimum maximum size of the shaft next minimum size of the shaft maximum size of the shaft is nothing but this 30 mm total 30 minus fd next this value this is nothing but 30 minus this plus this 30 minus fd minus 0 0.064 you find out how much is the value all the five, four values are got and you get straight away 12 out of 12 see that you reach third decimal all the time third decimal don't shortcut or don't reduce the value all values will turn to 30 then that is a blunder mistake that you do please uh, uh, don't round off to second or first decimals go reach up till third decimal in case of gauge design in case of uh, 
limit fits and tolerance for gauge design you need to reach up to fourth decimal always please see that you do this okay let me see go back to youtube how many are here online seven students sir always we have substitute mm and answer should be in microns right correct all the time all all time look uh, i'll solve this this i'll tell you one and don't confuse here there are two parts good question one sec uh, who is this who has asked anant right who is this mm, anant nadgauda sir always we have to substitute in mm and answer should be in microns just wait after decimal points how many digits should be right okay both are good questions first part i will address now look at this look at this part here d has to be substituted in for finding out the normal uh, nominal diameter both are in uh, millimeters so 18 into 30 the answer you get here is in millimeters no change this size this number is fixed 23.23 it is in millimeters keep that in mind i will write it in a separate piece of paper wait let me clear clarify the doubt regarding units first first d root of d1 into d2 okay this is in mm this is in mm and answer you get here is in mm keep this in mind okay next i value 0.45 cube root of d plus 0.001 d huh please note here this is in mm this is also in mm but answer is in microns got it say this is uh, in the present example it is 23.23 in the present example it is 23.23 mm again you substitute 23.23 mm you get an answer as 1.03 uh, 1.307 i think you get 1.307 and what is this you get 1.307 as i said 1.307 is the answer you get in microns that is that is equal to 1.307 microns is equal to 0.001307 mm or you can round it off to third decimal okay second question that has been asked how many decimals 0.001 mm okay is this clear answer you get here is in microns 1.307 in microns now that convert into uh, millimeters 0.001 mm keep this in now next let me go to next part i will compare one with another okay these two decimals next third fundamental deviation fundamental deviation uh, for d shaft is equal to minus 16 minus 16 d to the point power 0. 0.44 okay here please note this is again in mm value of d is given in mm and answer you get here is in terms of microns okay i'll short i will write it for you 0.16 into 23.23 raised to 0.44 this answer whatever you get is in microns whatever you get is in microns let us uh, i don't know how much is that find out 
let me say it is 20 micro uh, let me say 22 microns please don't follow this it is only reference it so supposing answer you get is suppose answer you get is 22 and this 22 is nothing but 22 microns that is nothing but 0 0.022 mm and this is the number we need further fundamental deviation i think i have made very clear here okay next second question is how many decimal places we need to reach up to third decimal 0 0.002 in case of limit splits and tolerance but in case of gauge design we need to reach up to fourth decimal fourth decimal okay with that having said that uh, the problem gets over and uh, tolerance yeah another is fourth number value it5 it8 is equal to 25i right here now what is being substituted here if you substitute i in terms of mm answer you get in terms of mm answer will be in mm but here if you substitute i in microns obviously it8 will be in microns finally you need answer in terms of millimeters only it8 or it10 25i 40i so depending on whether you substitute i in terms of millimeters you get net value in millimeters i value get, substitute in microns you get this in microns here i value in millimeters was 0.001 mm here in microns it was 1.307 microns now you can say as 25 let us say uh, let, uh, let me call as 1 micron let me call it as 0.001 mm okay either it is 25 micron is the answer or 0.025 mm is the answer either 25 mm or 0 0.02 ultimately we require this number we don't require micron number okay. please note d mm i you get in microns convert that into millimeters again you convert that into millimeters next third one fundamental deviation either for the hole or for the shaft you substitute d value in millimeters and the answer you get in microns minus 16 minus i minus 16 23.23 again this is in mm and the answer you get in terms of microns next let us say the answer is 22 i don't know you get by this calculation let us say that this is 22 and what is the 22 you get it is uh, 22 microns if it is the case 22 30 22.07 whatever is the micron value so i have to convert that into millimeters 0 0.022 mm okay next it values it8 it9 it10 that is equal to 25i uh, 30i uh, 40i whatever is the value if you substitute i here look i can you see if you substitute in millimeters you get the answer in millimeters if you substitute in microns you get in microns and finally i need the answer in millimeters now let me see how many are online nine students are online uh, up to three yeah right up to three digits so uh, i suppose uh, can you please tell me if you are through with this example just uh, message me if you are happy and the solution is over you can solve rest of the part you can note down try solving this using the calculator for me going by my mobile and doing the calculation is difficult so you find out how much is the answer okay uh, can i go ahead and see the rest of the question paper just ping me do you want me to uh, somebody has said already continue ah okay 1.307 mm good that's fine uh, that, that, that answer is right 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 yes sir thank you sir clarified good uh, so let me continue with the rest of the questions okay hopefully thank you ah uh, now that's okay uh, now uh, can i continue with the, uh, the next part is the problem clear now did you understand the problem good M musharraf desai uh, he has uh, messaged everything is good and i can go ahead let me see uh, read the remaining questions this is the one which takes more time because i'm solving the problem okay now let us go ahead with this problem wait 
right okay look at the question paper please follow the question paper uh, I will enlarge the question paper for your benefit and uh, can you read the question paper here see fundamental deviation is zero he has not mentioned for what fundamental deviation is for h shaft it is zero uh, h hole it is zero if you make a mistake it's additional information that is made given to create confusion among you it is not necessary 30 h a d10 is sufficient h hole has fundamental deviation zero and d shaft fundamental deviation is given as minus 16 d to the power 0.44 so this sixth information point number six is a uh, confusion creator for you people sketch the fit i have sketched the i uh, drawn the sketch i can draw it once more for you please let us draw the sketch one sec final sketch huh? uh, let me draw the final sketch for you people without any confusions let me draw i will take out all the papers okay i will draw the sketch for you people please understand this okay please follow this h hole h8 draw the sketch in the examination start with the sketch next d10 now we need two values one value of hole next second value of hole okay and this basic size is given as 30 mm can you see all these things okay this is 30 mm 30 mm given in the problem so first value is 30 second value second value you have to find out it8 it8 is equal to 25 i i is equal to 0 0.45 cube root of d plus 0 0.001 d and d is equal to point uh, sorry root of d1 into d2 this is in millimeters and this is in microns convert that into millimeters convert okay add that value here how much is this in terms of millimeter straight away now this part is over first you can find out once you know this you know this you can calculate this and you can find out number two next come to the shaft part fundamental deviation fd is equal to minus 0 0.45 cube root of d cube root of d plus 0 0.001 d find out how much is this this you get in terms of answer is in terms of microns convert that in terms of millimeters answer you get in terms of microns convert that in millimeters okay now we need to find out number three next number four this is maximum size of the shaft this is minimum size of the shaft okay you can find out three three is equal to 30 minus 30 minus fundamental deviation right third value 30 minus one next fourth value 30 minus fundamental deviation minus this value how much is this this is it 10 that is equal to 40 i i don't know i think it is given as 40 i find out how much is this 40 i minus it 10 that's all all four problems all four values are got this is the sketch and you write down the values of write down the values of whole dimensions 30.00 this is 0 0.000 i don't know how much is 0 0.001 if i'm not mistaken next shaft dimension 30 one value is some minus 0. Point something 
another is also 0 0.00 i don't know how much is this just check 30 minus this is one value 30 minus this value and 30 minus this value this plus this one is 30 minus this 30 minus this another value is this total value 30 minus this minus this two numbers you have to write. 30 minus this one is upper deviation uh, uh, upper tolerance higher tolerance another is lower tolerance. okay i think uh, i'm getting exhausted by this lecture uh, footballer message retracted continue sir okay epic thank you uh, let me continue fast and uh, uh, bring it to an end okay listed explain different types of fits great uh, this carries uh, eight marks wait okay uh, please read with a neat sketch explain different types of fits with examples eight marks there are three types of fits uh, transition fit interference fit and clearance fit try to give examples for each of those fits i have explained in my notes please go through that and draw the neat sketch of three types of fits next uh, list and uh, list the characteristics of comparators comparators i have not studied i have not uh, discussed now in this uh, lecture maybe in tomorrow or day after in subsequent lectures we can uh, discuss about comparators so it's a theoretical question carrying five marks straight away next um, uh, we explain the example the construction and working principle of johansson uh, johansson microcator yes uh, we are going to discuss in the comparators my johansson's microcator unit number five please be ready i will discuss that or maybe madam is going to discuss sketch and explain will give you straight away 10 marks straight away five marks for the sketch uh, and uh, five marks for the explanation simple explanation next uh, list and advantages and disadvantages of optical comparators yes what are the optical comparators what are the advantages what are the disadvantages we will discuss that in our unit number five then uh, explain with the help of a neat sketch the method to measure minor diameter of the internal one second let me move this question paper a bit okay okay can you see this huh. uh, le, uh, we explain with the neat sketch the uh, method to measure the inter minor diameter of the internal screw thread using taper parallels and rollers please let us discuss this during our discussion on the sign bars then uh, we are going to discuss on uh, uh, dial gauges then we are going to discuss on uh, uh, caliper uh, there are some two three topics that we need to discuss in unit 5 comparators there will be taking up this question let's see if possible next there are an expression for the best size of the wire three wire method i don't think uh, it is there for a present syllabus this is a previous syllabus so let us not worry about it next what are the various types of errors in screw threads please don't worry this is not from this this is a old syllabus okay next uh, need sketch explain three stages of generalized measurement system yes stage one detector transducer stage stage two intermediate modifying stage stage three uh, readout stage i think this was your in your first ia test also the same question was being asked this carries 10 marks it varies from six eight or ten mark simple sketch three parts generalized measurement systems input stage one detectors transducer, transducer stage stage two intermediate modifying stage stage three readout stage next explain with neat sketch capacitive transducer of changing area and the changing distance each of them will carry five marks each one is changing area type another is changing uh, distance type you need to write the equation for capacitance it depends on the three factors area cross section uh, diameter d and the distance within the plates you mentioned these and the two values have been changed here one is area of the plate and there is changing distance i think i have discussed this in the class uh, you can go through that and uh, write down those two uh, transducers next with the neat block diagram explain crt we uh, cathode ray oscilloscope we have seen cathode ray, uh, the functioning we have seen the animation of cathode ray oscilloscope please go through that next xy plotters yes uh, we don't use them xy plotters nowadays but uh, we have got uh, high-end printers and uh, lz printers fast printers so we uh, seldom use uh, xy plotters but nevertheless you can go through that xy plotter sketch and then explain how it functions explain prony brick dynamometer 10 marks straight away uh, we can sketch and explain what is the prony brick dynamometer find out uh, how much is the, the torque developed that is force into perpendicular distance that you can write okay mm, part b 
uh, is over next let me just check if this can be moved ha huh. but next explain pronoun break ah na macleod gauge what is ket and sketcher explain macleod gauge you need to write down about what is a Macle sketch carries five marks explanation carries five marks then you need to write down the boyle's law on which it is functioning that is p1 v1 equals p2 v2 what is p1 what is p2 what is v1 what is v2 you need to write about that next uh, mention a point about and uh, draw the sketch properly don't make the mistake of keeping the capillary tubes open one is uh, one is closed another is the smaller capillary tube is closed the larger one is open you need to keep that in mind uh, optical parameters i discussed in yesterday or day before class next gauge factor yesterday's class i discussed bonding methods i discussed yesterday thermocouples yes i discussed the previous day and what are the bonding materials i have discussed all those okay uh, thank you friends this is one question paper that we have discussed today what is the question paper that we discussed this is today's question paper was on uh, uh, december 2014 january that is uh, uh, december january uh, third semester b uh, mechanical measurements and metrology there are one or two questions which are not from the present syllabus anyway not worry uh, why not next diameteral step oh that is a question why not next diameteral step see uh, between uh, 30 to 50 50 to 80 got it we are going to use the nominal diameter the our diameter in the present case is say, uh, how much is that 30 to 50 let us say if the given value is 25 let us assume 25 h8 d9 25 h9 d10 if you use anyway this 25 is lying between 18 and 30 so that is there is no going uh, issue at all but now when you consider 30 and if you take the next diameter step 30 to 80 the 30 to 50 the d, d value will be more than the actual size look 30 to 50 if you consider that size the obviously the answer square root of 30 into 50 will be somewhere around 35 36 37 our shaft size itself is 30 or the whole size is 30 so how can the nominal size go beyond that it has to be either equal to or less than 30 mm that is the reason we don't go to the next diameter step we use the previous diameter step when when the diameter is exactly at the juncture of two values that is uh, uh, 1 to 3 3 to 6 6 to 10 10 to 18 uh, 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 no, no. 3 to 6 6 to 10 10 to 18 18 to 30 yeah if it is a, either the value is 18 or 30 or 50 30 to 50 or 80 we use the previous step i think the point is very clear now i made clear we have to take the previous diameter yeah uh, anant you are right we have to consider the if it is exactly falling on the line let me clear that J one sec please uh, check this okay this is visible let me clear this if given size is 30 h8 d9 this is 18 to 30 diameter step if the given size is 50 h8 d9 you have to consider 30 to 50 and not 50 50 to 80 you should never consider this next if the given value is 25 h8 d9 no ambiguity straight away you got 18 into 30 no ambiguity 25 lies between the range 25 to 30 18 into 30 no ambiguity got it only the problem comes when the value is exactly on the inter uh, changing values diameter steps are 1 to 3 3 to 6 3 to 6 6 to 10 10 to 18 18 to 30 30 to 50 50 to 80 80 to 120 120 to 150 and uh, 150 to 300 next is i think 300 to 500 i am not very sure but uh, more or less my if my memory goes through these are the diameter steps and most of our engineering calculations we reach only up to say 50 to 80 mm we don't go beyond 80 mm is the diameter of the hole or the shaft so unless you have got specific applications which you require a diameter more than 80 or 100 mm then we go to the next steps but most of our values lie somewhere around 18 to 30 mm 30 to 50 not more than that okay so uh, thank you all it has been a marathon session
uh, only last two hours uh, remaining let me stop even i am done for the day 11:30 one and a half hours continuously i have been speaking thank you all uh, in case you, uh, we will solve next uh, do you want me to continue tomorrow it it is a uh, you know difficult task for me but if you wish i can uh, live stream tomorrow also next question paper do you want me to discuss just mention do you want me to solve another question paper or do you want me to solve uh, a numerical on gauge factor uh, sorry uh, gauge tolerances do you want me to do that otherwise we can close the sessions please note it requires lot of uh, patience and a uh, lot of preparations for doing all this and uh, if it is worthwhile i don't mind i can always continue or you want me to take up a special topic please let me know just message me what should be our agenda for tomorrow yes what should be our agenda for tomorrow uh, do you want me to there are many question papers that we can still uh, discuss do you want me to discuss question papers just send me the message otherwise uh, uh, i can stop the streaming continue sir chetan uh, you say uh, sir on building slip gauges only one problem okay i can do that oh sorry what happened hello am i online still am i online still it got disconnected uh slip gauge problem i can solve tonight okay don't worry i will uh, solve couple of questions tomorrow couple of numericals numericals on slip gauge building it should be easy okay tomorrow today i will keep the uh, today i will solve problem i will uh, keep the solutions discuss tomorrow by 10 anything else anything else that you want me to discuss tomorrow seven concurrent views who are those from which places you all have joined there are some two three people uh, chetan is regular and then uh, uh, salunke musharraf desai then abhishek epic then uh, chetan kumar yeah anand nadgoda i think most of you are all creepy freak continue good definitely i will do that Uh, so tomorrow I can. Uh, uh, I have taken your feedback. So tomorrow we are going to solve. Yes, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me write down the tomorrow's agenda. Okay. Tomorrow's agenda. we have to be very very clear what we do 
ट्वेंटी थर्ड ज़ीरो फोर टू ज़ीरो टू ज़ीरो ओके टुडे इज वेनजे थर्सडे टू ज़ीरो टेन ए एम एजेंडा ओके वन स्लिपेज न्यूमरिकल्स और बिल्डिंग स्लिपेजेस सेकेंड कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर्स ओके इज इज ऑल राइट टुमोरोज एजेंडा ट्वेंटी थर्ड फोर टू जीरो टू जीरो टेन ए एम टूडेज डेट इज ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ओके स्लिपेज न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड देन क्वेश्चन पेपर विल बी डिस्कस्ड लेट मी सी वॉट इज योर रिस्पॉन्स आई एम ऑनलाइन ओके वॉट आर योर रिस्पॉन्सिस येस क्वेश्चन सेवन डिस्कस वंस अगेन टुमोरो वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन लेट मी जस्ट चेक वेट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन Oh, I see. Wait, wait, wait. I will show you. Okay. Question number seven is explain Prony brake dynamometer with need sketch and uh, uh, with a need sketch explain MacLeod gauge. Okay. Tomorrow I can do that. I will show you both. Uh, now I think I am a bit exhausted. Please uh, excuse me for today. Prony uh, brake dynamometer we are going to discuss tomorrow. I will show you MacLeod gauge also. I will show you. and we will uh, uh, because those questions are again appearing in re remaining set of question papers so we will uh, uh, certainly discuss those don't worry yeah uh, definitely we will uh, look into this question number 7 you have discussed uh, prony brake dynamometer with need sketch then explain with need sketch macleod gauge uh, both the uh, questions can be solved very easily uh of the i i will upload that uh, pdf file i will showcase both by tomorrow 10 am i will be ready with uh, your question regarding yes so i will add that in the agenda one sec i will add that in my agenda okay let me add it in number third uh what is that uh, prony brake dynamometer prony brake dynamometer brake b r a k e it is next uh what is that uh, macleod gauge so this will be discussed b r a k e not b r e a k prony brake is different brake is different okay next chetan kumar thank you abhishek salamke yes sir tomorrow i'll discuss no problem okay uh see you all then uh, we can finish up the uh, day for today we will we have shown you all the three uh, three or four agenda that we are planning one is slip gauge numericals then continuation of the question papers uh, before that let me continue with the prony brake dynamometer and then macleod gauge by tomorrow this will be discussed okay in case you have anything else we can also further into it. thank you thanks a lot um, it was nice meeting with you all people and then of course a uh, good interaction we had uh, you can circulate this this video gets uploaded now on to youtube uh, your friends can uh, view that offline not an issue and uh, let us have uh, some good interaction even by tomorrow by 10 o'clock uh, some problems we faced today in the beginning fortunately everything got fixed
Now, these are quite likely to happen. Can you see this part and then so many arrangements. I think there was an issue with this. Uh, initially, the audio that you were facing the trouble was probably with this microphone. I need to um, keep it away and uh, check the connections. By 9.55, 9.50, I will uh, uh, send out the stream, uh, stream, uh, streaming link to you. Uh, thanks to Professor VK. Uh, you can also put him a word or uh, in your WhatsApp messages. Thank you um, for uh, giving me this, uh, you know, circulating this uh, uh, link. Thank you all, all of you who have joined and I uh, hope you are doing, um, you are keeping yourselves fit and uh, safe. Uh, be inside the homes all the time. See that uh, uh, if at all by emergency case, you need to go out for some essentials. Always uh, keep yourself uh, safe. Wear the mask. Uh, follow the safety precautions. It is in our own good interest that we need to follow all these things. Let us follow the social distancing. And uh, at the same time, let us keep ourselves fit and energetic all the time. I keep saying about this. Uh, let us learn new things. Let us understand new concepts. Let us go for some new software. Then, of course, we have our day-to-day uh, uh, -day courses that we can think about. We can st find out. Now, this is a high time that you can identify some good projects for your... Uh, the, the present scenario has opened up uh, many projects for your final year. So, that you can think now. Keep in a note. Uh, the idea is always uh, very important. Uh, keep an idea. So write it down in a notepad see that uh, during final year or pre-final year uh, you can start working on those try to learn something connected maybe your uh, uh, you know python or some software that is needed for your uh, uh, furthering of your knowledge that you can try now still you have time sufficient time please don't waste time uh, you have your other uh, whatsapps facebook's and uh, instagrams and do that well and good but uh, you know, I find this uh, time to be very, very useful for me to learn new things. Uh, that's good. Okay, let me see uh, what are your final comments. Thank you. Ruthik Mense, Chetan Kumar Hebali, Abhishek Salanke, uh, then who are all online, those who, thanks a lot. Good day. Bye. Take care.